So far today, we've discussed how to actively communicate with online audiences to get them engaged in content. Well, now it's time to talk about what makes good digital content. So let's first understand what people are watching online and how they're watching it. For those of you that have never seen a haul video, you're about to get your mind blown by its marketing power. In a haul video, a buyer goes on a shopping haul and shares and endorses what they bought, turning the simple experience of recommending products to your girlfriends into a viral video affecting the shopping choices of millions. Elle and Blair Fowler's haul videos have been viewed more than 300 million times. And they're about to show us how it's done. Ellen and Blair have been shopping all morning, and now right here on this stage, they will film their latest haul video. Come on out, Ellen Blair. Hey, we're Ellen Blair Fowler. YouTube sensations and style gurus, Elle and Blair Fowler are here. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. When I was bored one summer, I was home from college at my parents' house, and I started making videos, and then I talked to my younger sister into making them as well. And now we're both making them. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite season for fashion. Last step is to use my favorite red lipstick. This is Revlon Lip Butter in Red Velvet. YouTube is where we got our start. That's why we love hosting Beauty Blogger Bootcamp. Hey everyone, welcome to Beauty Blogger Bootcamp. We're your hosts and judges, Ellen Blair Fowler. Our new cell phone line, we already came out with the first one. This is our second edition of it. This is the cover of our book. How cute is that? I'm so excited. An experienced beauty guru should be comfortable starting from scratch and be willing to show their bare self on camera. Being a great blogger isn't just about the knowledge of beauty and fashion, it's also how you interact with the camera and the viewers. I'm going to be talking about Little Black Bag, which comes in a little white box. For new beauty and fashion videos daily, check out youtube.com slash you look hot. Please welcome Ellen Blair Fowler. So we went shopping and of course we want to show you what we got. We went to multiple stores but then we got jealous of each other's bags so we just put it all in matching bags. Yeah, so. but we had different bags, different sizes and we were like, that's not fair. Yeah. So we decided to put it in our top shop bags. Can I go first? Of course. Okay, so I'm going to show you the first item I got on our little shopping spree. So this is a skirt that I got from Top Shop. It's a mint green high low pleated skirt which looks like this. I love that it's going on three different spring trends. I would pair it with like a flowy white top and some wedges and I think that's really cute. So what did you get? It's very adorable. Okay, the first thing that I got is this bag. It's a neon Diane von Furstenberg bag and I'm obsessed with this because I just went on this huge shopping trip at J. Crew and bought like everything in bright neon colors, these cute skirts, and I didn't have a cute bag to pair with it. So I wanted to get a small bag because that's kind of what's in right now. Typically I go for big bags, but I needed something small that I could wear crossbody and could carry my necessities, which is basically my phone, and that's it. And <laughs> I actually copied her. I don't have it to show you, but I totally bought the same bag in orange the next she day did. because I was so jealous. Okay, and then the next thing I got is from BCBG, and it's this scarf. It's a really lightweight fabric, so you're able to wear it in the spring and summer, and it won't make you like sweaty and gross because nobody likes that. So it looks like this, and I just love this pattern. And I'm really digging like the blues and the greens right now. I think they're pretty, and oranges. Both your things are green so far. I know, far. that's weird. That that's, wasn't planned. I know, that's funny. Okay, and when we were at BCBG, of course, I got a scarf as well, because we do things in pairs normally. <laughs> So mine's a little bit different than hers, and the reason we did this is so that we could share them, because we do that a lot when we're shopping, you know, because we live together, and why not? So mine has bright colors, and it also has this really preppy um, section of stripes, which kind of gives it a very versatile look. I feel like this combines, I bought this specifically for an outfit that I got at J. Crew, and it's just adorable, and she was really jealous, so we went back and got another scarf. I was totally jealous. And then the last fashion item I have to show 
is these shorts right here that I got from Topshop as well. I actually, this is my first pair of shorts I own that are this kind of like cut. They're loose, they go a little bit high-waisted, and I was kind of like, uh, I'm not sure if I really like those, but then I tried them on, and with the top tucked in, they look really cute, and I would do it with just some simple shoes because I want to keep all of the kind of, I don't know, like focus on the shorts. And it kind of looks like a skirt because they're so flowy, but like, you know, you don't have to worry about it flying up or anything, which happened to me once. Going they look to really, really good on her. Thank you. Okay, I got something from Topshop as well, and I saw this on the hanger, and I love this um, fabric. I just think it's so classic, but I thought that this skirt would actually look bad on me. Just, I don't know, I thought it'd be frumpy and kind of granny-ish. This is so cute on. I tried it on, and Blair was like, you have to get that. Like, almost, that looks so cute. I almost actually wanted to tell her not to get it so that I could get it, but then I was like, no, that would be rude. You can just borrow it. It's so. It's very, it's a good fit. It kind of is tight up here and then flares out. It's very complimentary. It's flattering. And then the next thing I got is this Murad primer for beneath your foundation. I have oily, acne-prone skin, and this says that it's for acne and shine control, so I thought that that would be really awesome. It says that it creates a smooth matte finish and controls acne breakouts to reduce oil and minimize the appearance of pores. So now that we're done with our, what is that, chemistry lesson? Is that like, I don't know, science? Yeah, kind of. I'm not sure. She didn't go to college. That's so mean. <laughs> okay, my next item is also a beauty item, and it's the nail polish that I have on right now. This is China Glaze in Dance Baby. I love that name. Me too. It's like, let's dance, baby. Um, but it's just a really pretty pink. It's the perfect pink for spring because why is this the perfect pink for spring? It's just, it just perfect. Is. It's just that color right now. So I'm loving it, and of course I'm wearing it. And then the last thing I got is a liquid eyeliner from MAC. I go back and forth between what type of eyeliners I like. Sometimes it's gel or pencil, and right now it is liquid. So I got the Super Slick Liquid Eyeliner in On the Hunt, which kind of reminds me of um, Katniss Everdeen from Hun Hunger Games, because she's like on the hunt to like get people, but I'm on the hunt to like attract people with my eyes or something. So yeah. <laughs> The last thing I got is from Chanel. I went there to get a new foundation yesterday, and then as I was checking out, I saw that the Chanel Summer 2012 collection was just released yesterday, and I got so mad at the girl helping me for not telling me about it, and she was just like really startled when I like freaked out and swatched everything all the way up my arm. It was intense, but I got this, and I really like it. She had used two makeup wipes to get all of her swatches off. I did, but I love it. It is a bronzer. This is what it looks like, and it basically has different colors of tan, so when you blend them all together on your face, it just gives you a really warm, glowy, healthy summer tan without actually having to go out in the sun, which I obviously don't do, which is why I'm pale and buying bronzer. Yeah. Yeah. So that's actually, all that we bought. Yeah, I really like that. That is our haul from our New York trip, I guess we should say, and we will see you guys with our next video. Bye.